What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Nickels YouTube channel. Today is Expanded Thursday, and today we're going to play something a little bit different, and that is going to be a Ho-Oh, Ho-Oh break deck. Yeah, uh, I was actually planning on playing this before Blacksmith rotated out, and then I kind of forgot, and then I was like, oh, this list is still on my profile, so let's play it for Expanded Thursday, and instead put some computer search in there, some battle compressors, and just see what happens. Will it work or not? That is the big, big question here. Um, so, ho -Oh Break has the attack Shining Flame. It does 160, and this Pokemon can't use Shining Flame during your next turn. Well, the first thing to say is it only does 160, so that's not taking a knockout. But if you play Muscle Band, you can do 20 more damage, and then you can do 180 to knock out all the X's in the game besides, like, Fighting Fury by Pokemon and Mega Pokemon, and, you know, just, you know, you know, whatever. We're just going to try to hit 180, try to be cute. Uh, the thing to note is it does take three fires and a DZE. So turn one, you have to attach a fire or, or Blacksmith to a ho -Oh. The next turn, attach a DZE and Blacksmith again. So you have to hit double Blacksmith to even pull off a turn to Ho-Oh break, which is very hard to do, uh, but maybe it'll work out. Now, Ho-Oh, the baby is still kind of decent. Stoke, flip a point of heads, search deck for up to two fire degrees, and att an attachment to this Pokemon. Shelf your deck afterwards, and you can use Fire Wing, Fire Fang, Fire Wings, or not Fire Fang, Fire Wing for 100, and then the Muscle Band, you can do 120, which can knock out Shaman, so it's still somewhat decent, uh, just not the best. So we play four, three shaman, not four, three shaman EXs to help set up because we want to try to blacksmith while drawing multiple cards at the same time, and one Caldeo EX to offset the Shining Flame because once you Shining Flame, you can't attack again, but then you can rush in your tree and you can do it over and over again, which is fantastic, and that's all the Pokemon in our deck. Now, we're going to play two Battle Presser to discard three cards out of our deck. We're going to play one computer search, discard two cards from hand, search deck of any card, which is just like super consistency. One super ride to shove back in mainly the Ho-Ho's. It's probably not even needed. I guess you can shove it back in Caldeo if it gets knocked out somehow. Uh, four training as well, four which well, four via seeker, maximum consistency. Now the next card is Blacksmith. Attach two fire energy cards from your discard pile to one of your fire Pokemon. Now, I did go crazy and put four in here. You can probably play three, and that would be fine, especially with the two compressors. But I just want to try to hit it only first turn, like, as A as AB, so we get Blacksmith. Because, like, the plan is, like, turn one, you get down two Ho-Ohs, and then you Blacksmith the one, Fire Energy the other one. So you have two attackers ready to go the following turn, because all, then all you have to do is, all you have to do is just Blacksmith and attach a DCE, and you start swinging, and you can take a knockout. If it works like that. Um, two Lysander, bring a Pokemon off the bench, two in, and two Sycamore. Now we do play a low count of these guys because we do play three Shamans uh, with the Compressors. We should be fine. We played three Scorched Earths, discard a Fire from your hand, and draw two cards. So that's going to help us as well to draw more cards to try to pull off that turn one Blacksmith plus Energy Attachment. Um, yeah, that's that's a plan. So Blacksmith, Energy Attachment, so Scorched Earth plus Shaman should get us there. Uh, two flow stones to give that Keldeo a free retreat. We we could play like a second Keldeo. Uh, maybe one flow stone is always risky because you never you won't have in your hand the same time as Keldeo. Um, so two can help us out a little bit more that way. Three muscle man to hit that 180 damage. Four DC because you need it for the uh oh. Uh, you need a fire. You need a double. Essentially, you need a double blacksmith. Uh, you could double blacksmith attached. That could work as well. Um, you can turn one Blacksmith DCE and the next turn attached. That can work as well. There's a lot of different combinations you can use, which is why we play the four DCE. And it allows you to Sky Return if needed. If you need a Sky Return for 50, you can with the Muscle Fan, so that's very cute. Um, you can maybe go for a Secret Sword for 70. If all else fails, um, if you're in that bad of a situation. So we play four DC and 10 Fire Dirties, and that's going to be it uh, for the deck. It's a very... It's kind of straightforward, but not really. It's going to be hard to do. You have to, like I said, blacksmith onto a ho -Oh. You get an energy. Um, you can blacksmith the active, put energy on the bench, and then have like two ho-ohs up on turn, which that is like the ideal game plan. You want to go that route. But there we go, guys. There's the ho-ohs break deck. I've been waiting for a long time to play this. And I, like I said, I forgot to. And I was looking through my decks. So I was like, oh, ho break's still there. And uh, well, let's see if we can make it work or not. So that is the big question. But guys, hope you enjoyed this episode expand Thursday. 
Hopefully next week, fingers are crossed that Sun and Moon is legal for our Expanded Thursday. If not, I'll come up with some other crazy deck to play for Expanded Thursday while we're waiting for Sun and Moon to come out. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and let's see the deck in action. Alright, so when it gets Painless, one plane of colors, and a fairy deck, and neither one of us has an advantage, and that's very strange. I hardly see that anymore. Uh, so let's see what's going to happen. Will we win? For, will we go first? And we won the Quake which is fantastic. Hopefully, we can get down uh, multiple uh, ho -Ohs. All right, so we'll get a Mulligan. We'll press done. We'll get a new hand of seven, but can Ho-Oh break? actually work or will it just follow its face i feel like it's gonna be the other one it's probably gonna be really bad but we'll see i do have faith and we've got to have faith in the bird and all right so we start a hoe we actually have a pretty good hand we'll press done okay and let's see what is our point of play and hopefully it's something we can one shot and not a mega gardevoir which is what i'm kind of scared of because mega gardevoir could probably destroy us um, but right now they're gonna draw a card and there's a Deontay. Now Deontay is fine. I don't care about that too much. Sword Ultra Ball, discard a Fire and a Lysander. <clears throat> to grab a another Ho-Oh. Alright, so put that guy down. Alright, so Ho-Oh go down. We will Ultra Ball, discard a Sycamore and Blacksmith to grab a Keldeo. I saw it in there, so grab the Keldeo. <laughs> We'll put that down and we will shame and set up for six new cards. And let's see, can we find a fire energy, a battle pressure, and uh via seeker? Okay, that's not what we needed. Hmm. <clears throat> so must man to ho X. We will train your smell. We'll grab an N, okay. We'll play Trainer's Mill again. We'll grab mm, we'll grab the scorched earth. We'll put it down. We will Ultra Ball, discard an N, and a Ho Break to grab another Shaman to set it for five. Hey, right, there's four Via Seekers in here. We just gotta find a Battle Crusher and some other stuff. So let's grab the Shaman. Luckily, we could just knock it out, but we need to get at least two energies on the field right now. Maybe a third. Uh, like a DCE be great. All right. So hey, there's DCE. Um, we get Scorched Earth, discard a Fire. All right. Um, we can compressor discard our uh, discard some cards out of our deck. Like we don't need the other compressor. Um, we already have two fires in the discard pile, so I'm just gonna discard just those because everything else seems really playable. So put a float stone. We will muscle ban fire energy this guy and pass on to our opponent's turn if we top pick a blacksmith next time we can knock out the deontay x with our ho break that is in our hand so this is possible guys we just gotta hit a vs seeker so there's a dc going to the active i mean oh hold on any as long as this pokemon is your active pokemon 80 damage done this pokemon uh, is reduced by 30 there's a crush hammer tails okay that's good that's good another crush hammer tails all right so 0 for 2 and a pass on to our turn we get a muscle band well, I'm gonna put a ho, a ho, yeah, breakdown. I am going to rush in, retreat to this guy, and use a stoke. Let's see how will stoke go. Will it work? Can I flip double heads with this guy? Come on, stoke, uh, tells. Well. That's unfortunate. Okay. Well, he can. Okay, hold on. 60. If there's Tatum card plays, that's 50 more damage. So, 110, uh, which doesn't knock us out. We're still okay. We're still alive, guys. On our turn, we get a Shaman. Sword of Muscle Band, a Shaman. DC, this guy. And we will Shaman set up for five new cards. All right. So, let's see. Can we find a Via Seeker? We find a Blacksmith. All right. Sword of Blacksmith. Onto the active. All right. It doesn't get knocked out next turn. We can't attack <gasps> with this whole break. All right, so we will go for the... I guess we should wait for Firewing and have attached to that guy for the turn. Wait, have we attached yet? We have. Yep, so go for Shining Flame for 180. We actually do knock it out. Oh, my goodness. We do 150 exactly to knock out the Deox DX. <laughs> We did it, guys. Uh, but we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. That one wasn't very good. And my opponent kind of just passed with Deontay. Let's see. What's their deck? I mean, I don't know what this is. The Townflame Deontay Lugia deck. But we'll see another game with this deck. Hopefully it works a little better and we actually win. And something actually happens. So we'll see what happens next game. Hopefully it's another victory. And we'll see you here in a second.
All right, so but against Zamboni, ooh, a grass stack. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. We're going for Ho Break's attack, not Ho. Be cheating if we go for Ho Break. All right, Ho O -oh, Ho E Ho O -oh, E. All right, so we lost a coin for which is unfortunate. Okay, all right, all right, that's okay though. On to our opponent's turn. Let's see. Oh no, we start with a Shaman. That's not good, guys. We don't want to start with Shaman. But we do have a Scorched Earth, a Trainer's Mail with some other stuff as well. So maybe we can get down two Ho's. Uh, attach a Fire to one of them, Blacksmith to the other, which is what we're trying to do on the first turn. All right. Oh my goodness. A Shelmet, which means a Selgor. So there's a Flow Snow going to the active. Oh man. A Gets is going to get three in there. Party time, guys. Um, but he could pass, and we could take a knockout. We, we could. We could do it next turn if he just passes with the Shelmet. All right, so if we see the Joko now. So we got Scorched Earth. We got a Fire. If we had an Ult-12, we could Shaman. We could draw more stuff. Get a turn one Ho-Oh attack, and there's a Shaman setting up for nothing, but he is scared. That's why he's putting down Shaman, and a pass on to our turn. All right, so we get a DCE. So a Scorched Earth. Uh, discard a Fire. Draw two new cards. Give me, okay, there's a Keldeo. We will Shaman set up for four. Give me a Ho-Oh and another Ho-Oh, please. All right, so there's Ho-Oh EX number one. Uh, we'll put down the Muscle Band. DCE. Um, mm. I don't want to end, but we kind of have to, right? We have no, we have really no options. So we're going to end, we both get a new hand of six. All right, there's another, uh, ho -oh, another trainer's mill. Okay, so we'll put down another ho -oh. muscle band. No, we'll keep the muscle band just in case he plays, like, I'm scared. Nah, 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 nah. We'll put it down, okay? And we'll pass on to our opponent's turn. Now, he can deck and cover, do a ton of damage to our statement, but not take a knockout. Um, but that's fine. We can maybe retaliate with a fire wing for a hundred. There's a Wobbuffet. Oh no, there he is, the monster himself. <gasps> Wobbuffet. Um, but at least we can life standard out. There's a verbic seated gym coming down, which if he decides to go aggressive, he could potentially take a knockout. So Ultra discards a he uh, AZ and a teammates. Okay. Let's see what he goes for. Maybe a, a Shaman. Uh, maybe another Shelmet. And that could be good as well. He needs to find a Flowstone for his Shaman. So there's a, a Shelmet coming down. Okay. Okie dokie. So Shelmet coming down. We'll see a DC to the Shelmet. And of course, going to get seven new cards. All right, guys. Can we take down? There's a Selgor, Wobbuffet deck, or not. There's another Shelmet hitting the field as well. But does he find a Flowstone and a, a Selgor? So, Oshbo, go and discard a Life Sand and a Wobbuffet. Okie dokie. And there's an Selgor. Okay, that's that's the, that's, the, that's the problem right there, guys. We don't want to see Selgor. So, Flowstone. Oh, no. He's going to get a dead cover. All right. So, there's a, a Selgor coming down. And he will deck and cover this turn. Um, can we knock out the Wobbuffet? Yes, we can. If we top deck a Fire to G... Uh, no, we actually can't. We There's no way we can. Alright, so what if we come up? Poison, whatever. Alright, so in our turn, we get a Flowstone. Mm. So we'll train your smell. Grab an Ultra Ball. Um, I'm going to... Fire to Geo ho -Oh, Lysander up a Shelmet. Below still the Caldeo. Rush in. Retreat back into the Shaman and just pass. Now that might seem a little, a little bit confusing, but what I'm hoping he does is he knocks out our Shaman. Our Shaman. We get then send the uh, the Ho -Oh and knock out his Wobbuffet. And then he already discarded one, so he might he might have another one left, right? But he might not have one more left um, to put down that turn, and that'd be fantastic because then we could rush into a tree. So I'm fine with giving up a knockout right now. Which I know seems very strange. There's a VS Seeker. Four course. We're gonna get seven new cards. We just gotta hope he doesn't find a second Wobbuffet. If he doesn't find one, we can then Firewing for the knockout, which is fantastic. And that's the plan uh, with this game. So there's another Wobbuffet coming down. Okay. And there's a DC. So he will deck and cover, send the Wobbuffet. But then we can put our Ho-Oh and take a knockout, which is fantastic. 
Now, yeah, that's what's going to happen unless he passes. That would be really strange. But no, deck and cover, taking a knockout, going down to four Prius guards, unfortunately. But hey, that's fine, guys. We got this. Hopefully, we top deck it in and we get in and down to uh, four. So here comes Wobbuffet. Alrighty. So on our turn, we're going to send the Ho-Oh, attach a Fire Energy, go for Fire Wing for the knockout. Alright, that's fine. So on to our turn. We get a train as well, so we'll play that. Looking for an N. Uh, there's a Blacksmith, okay. We will Blacksmith the other ho -Oh. So put two, oh, uh, we only have one fire. No, 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 we only have one. All right, so fire to this guy, and we will fire wing for 120 damage. Knocking out the Wobbuffet going down to five prize guards. All righty, so there's a Sycamore, which we can discard our hand, drawn seven new cards. But what I'm scared of is if he deck and covers to a new Wobbuffet. That is what we're scared of. So we're going to send up a Pokemon. There's a Shelmet coming down. Don't care too much about that. There's a love ball for another showman, most likely. Okay. Oh, a Muna for the long distance hypnosis, which we don't care about. We can rush and retreat at any moment to get out of that. Uh, so Muna coming down. Must ban all to the uh, Selgor. Uh, DCE. So yeah, he's not taking a knockout still. So Juniper discard his hand. Discards a mystery and, and something else. We just got to hope he does not find a Wobbuffet. If he does, we're in, we're in trouble. So Flowstone, the Muna. Okay. Love ball for another Shelmet. Okay, so we're looking good. I don't think he has the knockout. I mean, the, the wall fit, which is fantastic. Okay, so another Shelmet coming down. Cinema Silgor, and he will duck and cover uh, for 8, 9, 10. So 100 damage coming down. Oh, there's an Ultra Ball. Please do not grab a wall fit. Uh, discards on a Silgor and a Flowstone. Okay. Why did he not grab that first? Like, why would you not use the Flowstone on that instead? But he's going to put a to Muna. So, uh, what if I come down? Okay. Now, we can still get out of this. Um, so, he's going to poison a whatever. Uh, he's going to set up the, uh, the Wobbuffet. But we can still knock him out. If we, fi if we find the, uh, the Ho-Oh Break, we can take a knockout. There goes Wobbuffet. Okay. On to our turn. What do we find? We get a Shaman. Do we risk it or not? I'm gonna, oh man. We get an Ultra Ball guaranteed a, a ho -oh break, which I think is better. I think that is for sure better. So, but then we don't have a shame in our hand. I'm just gonna sick him I'm just gonna hope we hit the, whop, the ho -oh break. And we don't hit it, but we get a Fighter G to discard a fire, an Ultra Ball and a fire. We just got Ultra Ball and the Floatstone, actually. To grab a ho break, okay. We will put down that guy. <clears throat> put a fighter in this guy. Put down the scorcher of the count counter his verbic city jam. And we will take a knockout with the fire wing for 120 damage. There we go. That's what we needed. Alright, so take a knockout going down to four. Alrighty, so there's a super rod, okay. All right, so we're doing good. Maybe his two cards in his hand are bad. That'd be fantastic. So here comes Muna. He's down three Wobbuffets. He probably plays four, though. Uh, so DC on the Shelmet. Juniper, discard his hand, draw seven new guards. Now, he will go down to three, but then we could take a knockout going down to three as well. Or if he promotes a Shaman, we can go down to two this turn. So things are looking kind of good for us right now, even though this is like a really, really scary matchup, okay? So a long distance hypnosis tells Kudoki. He must have a Masharna in his hand, because why would you go for that? Well, Masharna's in his hand right now. Yep, there's Masharna. All right, so Masharna coming down. So he will take a knockout, but I think we're okay for at least two turns with our Ho-Oh. Uh, Super Rod going to most likely shuffle those Wobbuffets back into a stack. But that's okay. We can break uh, to get out of the poison for a turn, get another ho -oh down, and he has to deal with these hoes. They're, they are a pain for him as well. Alright, so we're going to see a knockout. Alright, so uh, maybe we'll be able to get this. Alright, so there's a form wire. Go look at top two cards of his deck and let's see what he put. I, actually, he doesn't have an Asogor yet either. Alright, going to put a card in his hand. Is it an Asogor or not? If it's not, then we're good. He could, okay, he can't sky turn either. So let's see, guys. There's computer search. All right, computer search will get him the Acelgor, unfortunately. All right, so this card's an N and a Masharna. Is that another Masharna? Really? 
Or no, no, the moon, and that's what it was. All right, will this get him a circle or a wobbuffet? Which piece of the puzzle is he missing? And if he deck and covers, and we top deck a Lysander, we get to knock out his only show and make it where he can't attack next turn. So that's something he has to worry about as well. All right, so let's see what he does here. There's a perfect city jail cover down. Don't care about that too. I mean, I do care about that. Uh, send him a uh, Yanma. I uh, sorry, the Shelmet. Put it down to Selgor. And do we top deck a VS Seeker? If we do, we could knock out a Shelmet and he can't attack next turn. Maybe we should have held on to our uh, Scorched Earth, unfortunately. All right, so let's see who he sends up. Going to send in the Shaman. All right, so we'll send in the Caldeo. And we can actually go down on price guards. All right. Let me go up on price guards. So, Keldew coming up. Give me a VS Seeker, though. That's what I want. And a Scorched Earth. So, put down Scorched Earth. We will Scorched Earth. Discard a Fire. Draw two new cards. Give me a VS Seeker. And we get a VS Seeker. So, we'll put a DC on this guy. We will VS Seeker for a Lysander. Bring up his Shelmet. Retreat and take a knockout and my opponent is in a terrible spot now So we'll go for the fire wing for the knockout do it 120 to his shelman a uh, 240 sorry So go down to three there's a via seeker as well so we can via seeker Anybody up and things are looking fantastic for us here goes shelman on to our opponent's turn Let's see what can they do? I did not think we were gonna win this game So what's that coming down? I don't care about that really for one look at the top two cards of his deck all right, going to put a card in his hand, and if so there's a Shelmet, okay. Does he put down two Shelmets? If he doesn't, we could then license this guy up, take a knockout, going down to two, and... Ooh, man, you got to think we almost have it. So there's a Juniper, discard his hand, draw seven new cards. Okie dokie. Um, there's another, okay, so he has two Shelmets down, which is unfortunate. Um, a Mew coming down, okay, that's cute. Hmm. So it treats a wild fed, okay. Now there's another wild fed in his deck, okay. I think my plan right now, let's see what top deck, there's a DCE. So, um, we have one via sticker in the discard pile, one our hand, and one life center in the discard pile, okay. So I'm going to Scorched Earth, discard a fire, draw two new cards. There's a hoe. Uh, there's a DCE on that guy. Hold on, hold on. Oh, it's freezing up. Pokemon, don't do this to me. No, 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 Pokemon, don't. Don't you disconnect. All right, so there's ho uh, DCE. I was scared there for a second. I ain't gonna lie. All right, so I think I'm going to just via Seeker for Sycamore. Discard our hand, draw seven new cards. Yep, that's the plan. I guess we could have Super Rod for the ho and ho break. There's a whole break of, okay, we have game next turn. So right now, we're going to go for the Fire Wing for the Knockout. Okay, do it 120. We'll go down two prize cards. Next turn, we can put down the whole break, a life center, but it's a and win the game. All right, guys, things are looking good for us. Here comes uh, Shaman. Oh, it's our opponent's turn. We get a life center of a Shaman or the Mew to win the game next turn. So, and a Silver coming down. There's a DC on that Mew. A uh, Wobbuffet coming down as well. Let's see what does he do here. So Flowstone onto the Wobbuffet. 4-1. Look at top two cards of his deck. He needs to find an end right now. If he does not, we are going to win this game. Um, and even then, if we find a whole break, we can take a knockout immediately. So Love Ball. Go to Garmin and Selgor. Okay. All right. So Nacelle coming down. And does he find an in or not? That is a big thousand. That's a million dollar question. There's a Lysander. Break it up or killed you. Oh, what a meanie head. All right. Sit up the Mew. Oh, no. That's not good. Okay. So let's see a deck and cover. Well, let's see. Does everybody have a Flowstone? Uh, yeah, everybody on this field has a Flowstone. So 10 edge poison. All right. Oh, no. Our turn. We will put a, a fighter gene in this guy. And we will just pass. Okay. Maybe he'll with the DCE. He only has one card in his hand, but it could be a Juniper. Under our opponents are going to draw a card. Okay. There's a full one. Look at top two cards of his deck. Does he find a DC or not? Now, if he finds a DC and he goes for Selgor, we win. Because then we can license under shame and take the game. 
Alright, so let's get down to the wire, guys. Oh, man. What's going to happen? Who knows? Um, well, the good thing about this is he can't knock us out going back at his turn. That's almost impossible. Um, so there's a shovel coming down. Okay. Is he with the DC? Nope, DC. Is he going to deck and cover this guy without an in? Send him silver. All right, so he's gonna hit for 100 damage. We get sent up the ho, -Oh, put the ho -Oh break, lights into the shaman, and win the game. Take it down the Selgor Wobbuffet Fed deck. Oh my goodness gracious, guys! I did not think this was gonna be possible. All right, so let's sit up the ho, -Oh. and let's put down the ho -Oh break, lights up the shaman, and take the game on to our turn. We will put down the ho -Oh break. <clears throat> we will fire the G. Lysander up that shaman and we will take the game with the Ho-Oh break deck. We will go for the Shining Flame for 180 damage. Knock on that shaman and Ho-Oh break just... Oh, we had a Ho-Oh and a Ho-Oh break prize. But we took down the evil Wobbuffet and Subword deck. Oh my goodness. Like, like it's not an auto win. As you saw, we did play around it. Uh, we had the breaks to get out of it. We could Lysander around it for a second as well. And there we go, guys. I did not think this matchup was going to be possible. But we did it. And that is so exciting. Oh my goodness. Can we see? Okay, we can't see our bonus deck. But there we go, guys. I uh, hope we enjoyed this video. That was a lot of fun to play in this whole break deck. You just... Man, it's so fun. It's, expand is so weird. You just have to know how to play against every single deck. And you can do so much decent. Uh, but guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Alrighty. Bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.